good morning to all of you welcome to jurisprudence students this video will be useful for the constitution people also we are going to discuss the doctrine of severability doctrine of separability article 13 of the constitution of india you all know that after the constitution if any law is inconsistent with the constitutional law it can it will become void particular portion will become void now a doubt may come whether the point when a part of the statute is declared as unconstitutional then whether the whole statute has to be declared void or only that part which is unconstitutional should be declared as such so to resolve this conflict please remember this problem supreme court has devised the concept or doctrine of severability doctrine of separability so please remember if particular part of the act or if particular provision is offending it can be separated from which is unconstitutional then the other part will remain as it is this is what article 13 says i will read article 13 says to the extent of the wideness or unconstitution will be to the extent of such inconsistency be void so if the end, so that means entire act need not be declared as unconstitutional only that portion will be declared as unconstitutional this is called doctrine of severing doctrine of cutting or doctrine of separability right so the whole statute may not be held to be unconstitutional as stated in the case of motor general traders versus state of ap 1984 to cite a few cases best case is ak gopalan in ak gopalan versus state of madras 1950 right please remember supreme court held that section 14 of the pd act 1950 is ultra virus so in the entire preventive detention act is not ultra virus only section 14 is ultra virus so they should be they should be preventive detention the impugned act please remember the decision that section 14 is ultra virus does not affect the validity of the rest of the act because people they have to be detained presently upa act you may be knowing unlawful activity protection act in andhra pradesh we have got uh, so prevention of the activities of bootleggers uh, um, habitual offender that thing that act is also there there are certain people who are habitually committing the offenses and they have their movements have to be curbed preventive detention is necessary but section 40 is illegal it's why right so only that section is deleted from the preventive detention act the rest of the act is okay right another case state of bombay versus uh, balsara balsara chemicals you may be knowing state of bombay versus uh, balsara state of bombay versus balsara maybe in 1984 na no, 1949 right in this case the prohibition bombay prohibition act is there it was observed that the provisions which are declared void in bombay prohibition act there should be prohibition but balsara it's a chemicals manufacturing company definitely the malases alcohol is a necessary for them you can't restrict so a particular portion is not valid so definitely it will be held unconstitutional so please remember while the law purports to authorize imposition of certain reasonable restrictions by the constitution to the state yes they have to be accepted the whole law cannot be struck down but please remember if the law if the provision is such that you cannot change it without changing the entire law then definitely entire law will be held unconstitutional there may be certain circumstances linking is there suppose if you want to rewrite a sentence it may not possible so if you separate the section from the act 
you cannot read it as a whole definitely entire act will go that is what is stated uh, in the case of ramesh thapar versus state of madras ramesh thapar versus uh, state of madras this is in uh, 78 uh, 1950 this is also in 1950 so he was a publisher of some newspaper then uh, the newspaper was not to be published in the madras it was not correct according to article 14 and article 19 also so no doubt the state has got authority to impose certain instructions on the print and media selections but departments but uh, you cannot uh, totally avoid them but here please remember in the point is so no doubt the authorization of inst uh, imposition of the restrictions is nothing but so violation of the fundamental rights finish the act itself is illegal so the act is so that so called act declared that so many so and so people should not publish any material in madras is held to be illegal so as as long as the possibility of severing is allowed it's okay but if it is not severable definitely the entire act will go fat so please remember even in the case of rmdc versus union of india 1957 section 2d of the prize competition act so please remember this act includes gambling prize com- includes gambling and of course other ga- cases are like uh, they are all skill games so please remember the gag dam a particular part of gambling is a severable other things not severable so please read all these case laws which i mentioned and if you have to write uh, the doctrine of severability or doctrine of separability you have to mention all the cases particularly ramesh thapar or ak gopalan balsara case and lastly rmd case very very important cases they are old cases why i have cited those cases because you have to write the examination as a student as a student you have to mention these decided case laws so i hope you will read them and enrich your legal knowledge with this i am concluding thank you very much